<laughs> I love Rebecca, man. You ever see? But it's no stupid trigger, man. Yeah. But she, this is like she's perfect trigger character. Yeah. She's like, Mam! yeah. She's the perfect. Mam, 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 yeah. And now it's like, I love every Rebecca scene. My Rebecca is hilarious, man. I love her scenes. <laughs> every scene with Rebecca is gold, man. <laughs> I got bigger. New guy, man. Wait up. <laughs> that's why, yeah. Uh, well, you know, new guys. Yeah, that's why we need new people so they can run first into the room, right? He's straight up zero two, man. She is the zero two backstory. I told it. The... See, I call it. See, I call it. She is zero two. Straight up. She's like, I gotta escape. I'm in the laboratory. Yeah. This is so adamant. This is so adamant, though. She's like, I love you, but I can't tell you the truth. She go. I do trust you. No, no. Please listen to me. But also, no. Yeah. This is obviously a trap, man. It was the most obvious trap ever, Jesus Christ. It's gonna be Kiwi, it's, it's gonna be Bloops. It's gonna be Bloops. See, it is Kiwi, I called it! It was gonna be Bloops, man. So, 7 and 8, right? And tomorrow we do the 9 and 10. There's a 10 episode uh, Netflix anime show, right? Uh, review reaction here, then. Let's start watching it. So, 3, 2, 1, and go. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what happened to Kiwi, man. Yeah, Bloops. What happened to her? Seriously, because she, she got punched by... Right? And then she... I don't know. Like, I'm wondering what happened with, uh, yeah, the second waifu. He also got Becca, of course, but she kind of left after he died, I guess. Another character? Oh, Becca's back, baby! Here we go! Yeah, I guess David's the leader now, I guess. He's the... I guess that time skip has been here. I guess he's the new, uh, yeah, leader. The key with the live seal. Talk it now. Good. Bloobs! Bloob waifu's alive, good. But this kind of haven't seen much of them yet, right? This, uh, I think so. But yeah, David clearly is a big leader now. Yeah, Kiwi was a driver, yeah, as I call it. Yeah, when I saw that guy victory, I was like... Yeah, so he's the big boy now. But it's the loser then. Maybe loser left. Maybe she's like, David, dude, you can't be a leader. And everyone's like, Yeah, <laughs> I feel so many triggers are like this when like, 50 people are like, Rah! We go to the screen, right? Yeah, and Kiwi hacks them. Yeah, and now it's on shooting. <laughs> yeah, and Rebecca starts shooting everything. But this is a piece of my trigger. It's like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Yeah, this kind of like, Aah! Yeah, this kind of like very weird uh, gunfights they have. <laughs> I do love Becca though, man. Uh, come on, she's the best character. Uh, she's the best character, man. Come on. Yeah, here we go. More Becca. <laughs> Bigger gods! <laughs> yeah, she's just a crazy gun girl. It's like, more gods! They're dying there. <laughs> now David definitely uh, yeah, got them way bigger now. Yeah, I'm gonna punch him. Well, he's fast too, I guess? He might also have some kind of improvement in a similar way because he would manage to kind of see him move. He wasn't as fast, but he clearly had some ability to see David move in the speed there. I mean, certainly more people can have this take right. Eventually more people can have this take right. Yeah, for them it's like... Tff, right. But for us, dead. <laughs> and you got that's why we have the new guy. He's dead, man. And they're like, ah, that's the new guy. Not a new guy dead, but no, there's some slave something, some kind of. No, Isabella. I was only, you know, I could imagine Lucy be. Being... <laughs> oh, I love Rebecca. It's gonna show how she's <laughs> showing off her moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, showing off her like guns. Yeah, with like a water gun or something. Um, but it's clearly been a time skip here. It's clearly been uh, a few months something, right? A lot of the new guy died though. Yeah, he ran, he ran <laughs> head into the trap there. They were like, "That's why we got that guy." <laughs> yeah, but we felt seriously. Back then, I was like, "Oh, we gotta hire a new guy again." But at the same time, I was like, "You know, that's why, that's why we have new people so they can like run ahead and try out the booby traps." Yeah. Oh, that was not a trap, man. Oh, a tripwire. Okay. So he's gonna start working with the evil corporation, right? Yeah, it's time to. Exactly. It's time to like let's. Uh... Become friends, right? Yeah, I heard you're the new guy in town, right? And it's very much like, you want to drink first? Let's uh, become uh, best friends. I am the big boss here, after all. Yeah, it's very much that. He comes there. He needs Lucy, then. He's gonna need Lucy, right? Yeah, he's gonna have, he needs Lucy for hacking, right? Yeah. Shubarashi, you need Shubarashi. Well, yeah. Oh, that's some Lucy image though. Here we go. That was some fan service suddenly. Suddenly we saw some uh, Lucy Opice. Yeah. I don't know. This other... I had to say I feel these story bits. 
Like, they don't bring much to the table. No, no I mean, I guess he has to hire him and he gets loses or one. But then you kind of like, she's stagger, oh, you want to work for me? Maybe not, you know. And I don't really think that brings much. It's like a three, four minute. It could have been way shorter. Oh, and Lucy lives there? Oh, now it's off pipes, man. Yeah. Now, this episode is fan service, man. Now Lucy comes in there and shows off some fan service. I mean, Mom is still there. It's kind of sad, man. His bed. I like that they have the bed in the middle of the room. <laughs> yeah, they have like a massive apartment, right? And then the bed is just in the middle of it. <laughs> it's like, like, he looks so mecha up now, though. Holy shit, man. You see David here now. She looks more mecha too, definitely, but. But yeah, now it's like. I mean, David looks so weird, though. Yeah, he looks like he's like tw twice as big or something. Yeah, I mean, she loves showing him the moon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she's like, let's go look at the stars. <laughs> she loves the goddamn moon, man. She's like, she, for her, moons is better than everything else. She's just like, come on, man. Let's let's go and look at the moon together. Um, yeah, for her, you know, there's nothing better for her than moon stuff. Yeah, it's all always right. Trying to know more about you. Yeah, she finally tell her backstory. Here we go. Arasaka, of course. I mean, we definitely saw her flashback. And it was kind of obvious. She's, she's, she, I called it. She's zero 2 man. She's speaking zero 2 I said it, man. She has that zero 2 backstory. I called it. She's raised in some laboratory. It was obvious. Seriously. Every goddamn time trigger. Yeah, yeah. She's raised in a laboratory from the evil e evil corporation. He's exactly like... <laughs> it's almost exactly like Darling in France. Come on. Uh, I told you guys. Yeah. She's the kids in Darling in France. They have a problem with the writers are always doing the same thing, man. Yeah, it's like, I told you, man. It's kind of predictable, stupid thing stuff. They always do the same thing. I love them, but they have the same plotline every time, man. Like, seriously, right? And it's like a blind kid or something. Oh, and his hand was like... Yeah, no, it's just weird. It's like the people are just, I don't know, they're matrixing and they're just being destroyed or whatever. Wait, rogue AIs for the attackers? Yeah, it's not the matrix dead. Yeah, and they would die inside their... Yeah, they were like, getting killed inside that thing, right? No, it is a mixture of Darling in the France and Matrix. Yeah, it's like we will go inside and they would, yeah, the AI would kill us. So we were sitting in our tubes and we were living in this AI team. Of course, we could easily hack them. We were way better than they were. She's probably the only surviving kid, though, right? Unless Kiwi is there, but unlikely, yeah. Everyone else probably dies, right? It's the classic, the main character survives, you know. It's anime, baby. Of course, she's the only one to survive, right? From this uh, super level. It's like Dark Angel or whatever, yeah. She's, it's also that one girl that survives, right? She's the main character, yeah. <laughs> uh, now it looks almost exactly like the game here. He wakes up here in. Where's my Kenny Reeves, man? Yeah, where's my Kenny Reeves coming in here being like, oh, I wake up here in the graveyard? Hmm. Where's my Kenny Reeves, right? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. She almost woke up a section. There was obviously uh, to the game there, yeah, like the crane in the in the sky and so on. Like, where, where's my? Uh... Yeah, I was like, get up, boy. But he has he had the same issue, right? Yeah. In that sense, kind of stupid. He, he took up Main's hand, but Main already had issues with that. Like Main had an issue with his hand, you know, having that issue that it was like. Yeah, like, he couldn't control it or so on. Man, that seems really stupid in that way. Now when I, when I realize that, it's really stupid. Yeah, like, come on, man. I don't remember that Main was, like, sick on that shit. Ah. Like, yeah, why, why we want to have Main's, like, room in hand? Oh, what happened now? She hacked him? Yeah, Okay. Here we get to kind of the main story, I feel. The main evil. Definitely setting up some kind of antagonist here. Who's this character? It's Lucy, probably, right? It's probably Lucy doing it, right? She's probably going out to kill them. Yeah, I guess Lucy's cleaning up. It's a lot like Lucy, right? The body shape, the hair. Yeah, she kills him by. Frying his brain basically, right? Flat. It's probably Lucy, definitely. Come on. It's, oh, I call it! It's gonna be waifu! Evil waifu, man. I call it, man. Yeah. That was, but it was just kind of obvious. I mean, it is it is trophy, man. I like Super Trigger and the <laughs> Flat Cyber Cyber Point Rad, but it was kind of obvious that, oh, it's gonna be Lucy. It's gonna be evil Lucy. She does his backstory of, oh, I was trained in this laboratory, and then I killed everyone, you know. Yeah, she gives her backstory, right? She is uh, escaping here. 
And uh, it does feel very cliche. First of all, her backstory was incredible similar to Zero Two. It really was, right? Like she has that whole backstory of, you know, oh, I was the experiment kid and I'm the only survivor of these like super people or something, right? So, <laughs> but of course, I mean, generally speaking, right? It, it is just anime. Right? Yeah, generally speaking, it's an anime backstory where, oh, I'm the only one to ever survive, right? Um, you're not talking about this. Just <laughs> It's always like this. <laughs> Seriously, it's always like this. Yeah, they're like, oh no, but I survived and I want revenge or whatever. You know what I mean? It's always like that, right? Um, <laughs> Seriously, it's always like this. Um, <laughs> like, I don't even know how to say it anymore. I was like, of course, she comes in the kids, kind of. But it also felt kind of like, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm almost surprised for a second. I mean, I said it last in last stream. I said that, that I felt that. Was that really him having data? Or did she do something in my full stream uh, uh, this morning uh, in episode, uh, yeah, let's have six, 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 yeah, episode six. I said it, I was like, nah, I think she kind of did something with the data. When she saw David and that, you know, Arasaki, Arakasa company, she had some like, oh, uh, these people, and she did something with it, right? That's why she, his brain was weird, yeah, like she fried it, right? So, maybe it's going to turn into her being evil, whatever, but I think it's more like she's her own agenda, right? Yeah. I feel this is going to be a typical, I feel it's going to lead into, you know, a conflict between Lucy and David, because they're clearly lovers now, right? Like, they're living together and so on. But then in the end, they're going to team up, right? So I feel it's going to be a conflict. She's going to be a minor antagonist, probably, next episode or two episodes now, and walks around, right? And, you know, without any clothes on, yeah, basically, right? So, um, kind of like, yeah, it, it was like the bloop scene, right? But I guess it was more sexy, because Lucy's body looks like a, more like a normal human, right? You're like just some scientist. Yeah, her son is the, maybe one of the older classmates. No, I guess she could be the mom of Bruce Lee guy, right? She could be the husband. Uh, she could be the wife of the husband. Her husband could be the one who kidnapped earlier, perhaps. Maybe. At least her son's gonna be one of the students in his class, right? But it's probably the. She's probably the mom of uh, douchebag uh, uh, Bruce Lee guy. I have his name now. Okay. Oh, he killed him? What? She goes back here, and then David has been there, snapped at him. Poor lady, or poor old lady. Matte, it's just like a random old lady, and he didn't matter. Maybe. Okay, he went in there and killed some scientists. Keith is like, you okay? <laughs> oh, someone jammed me. What are we yeah, what weird, yeah, very weird. <laughs> He's clearly lying, man. It's like, no, someone yammed me. That's what I didn't answer when you called me, yeah. What are you doing there? Uh, yeah, I was yammed, so I couldn't tell you guys. <laughs> it's clean. Oh, guys, that obvious liar, man. He's a terrible liar, David, yeah. No, I got jammed, guys. It's gonna be my answer, too, if someone calls me, you know, when I'm at home or something, and that's my phone, right? No, no, someone is yamming my phone, you know. Yeah, 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 people are spying on me, so that's why I don't answer my phone. Like, my boss calls me, what do you answer your phone for? I'm like, no, I was being yammed by evil corporation, you know. Yeah, I was being yammed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the way, I, I tried to answer, but, you know, it, it was yamming going on, yeah. Rhodes. Oh, here they are. So this is like, uh, evil Lucy? Seriously, probably, right? She's probably a kid that survived the uh, training in the in the camp, right? It's like, straight up, honestly, this woman like Lucy, the hair color and so on. She's probably, like, I'm actually, I, I feel, she's like, gonna be like, you know, Lucy's sister, right? That didn't like, betray them. It was like, yeah, I like tacking for them. This woman here, yeah, come on. She's gonna be evil, evil Lucy. <laughs> come on, it feels a lot like that. Yeah, money probably. Money or violence, I don't know. Speak of money or power. He goes like Carl, probably gonna attack him. I guess they hit him back, right? They're gonna try to kill. Uh, him. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna shoot him down with like a random car. Yeah, that's the only language they speak. <laughs> Bullets. But I guess they hired like the Yankees or something? Yeah, or something? What would it be? Yeah, I guess so, right? They hired. Of course, they hire all the gangs. So it's, like, it's not like they hire their own people, right? They hire, yeah, they, they gotta, like, you know, consult businesses. Yeah, it's like, go and get one of the other gangs, right? But that is true. I mean, it definitely is how the game world is, right? It's absolutely the game lore. 
that these mega corporations, yeah, they keep hiring the other random crisp people, right? So they don't have to actually have a real conflict with each other. It was like, oh yeah, we need to kill that guy. We'll hire some of those uh, crazy people from that country. And yeah, it's like, yeah, can hire that, 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 that league over there. Right? It's a lot of that. It's always like that um, kind of cold war, I guess. Oh, Lucy's getting a lot of fans. Isn't it? Suddenly Lucy's a lot of... Lucy doesn't wait close anymore. <laughs> Lucy's just like, every scene she's just like in her home and is being like sad or something. Yeah, it's like every Lucy scene in two episodes has been in her home. And then mom urn thing is weird, man. That he keeps having mom's urn in the middle of the room. He's like, my mom died. Yeah, yeah, we know, man. He's like, mom died. <laughs> it's like, it is weird. He has like, he has his mom, you know, all in front of him. Yeah, my mom. It's like, oh my god, to the moon, baby. Only for 250k, yeah. Yeah, Lucy is getting very fan service now. Can't show this thing here. Lucy is very family friendly now. Constantly. I mean, we know they're doing it, right? So, yeah. Of course, there's no actual ever, you know, no actual scenes, right? But yeah, she's just walking around. But he clearly took your papa's rude hand. It was like really bad. We knew an issue with that hand, and yeah, like that thing was like broken on me. But yeah, they're back to their copper. This is like the copper episode. <laughs> yeah, now they're back at this corporation, man. Hello, him is that? Hmm. I feel the episode's probably gonna end with a, co a confrontation between Lucy and all the hack you know, the anti hackers, right? Yeah, the counter intel. Probably. Shubarashi, indeed. I was gonna find Bonru. <laughs> Flashbacks. Shubarashi! <laughs> every time someone's like, Shubarashi! I'm like, Papa Bonru! <laughs> it's like, yeah, every time I'm like, Bonru! Shubarashi! It's a good point. It's like, I don't even know why we do this. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. It's like it's probably someone doing it on a personal. But that guy's a good, really good point. It's like it has to be a personal thing. I don't see why they would keep doing the thing. It's like, yeah, it's weird, man. It's like you're gonna bounty on that person, right? Find me that waifu. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, they're both lying in their own bathtubs talking. Now this is the future, man. He's lying in his own bathtub. Like, hey, best friend. <laughs> he's calling, what are you doing? I'm also in the bathtub. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and it's like weird mental, you know, yeah, it's like bloobs. This episode is way etchy. The episode 18, now we got etchy, man. Seven had a lot of Lucy too, but now it's just like back and forth in this bathtub and it is like lie there. Again, nothing is happening, right? But the, yeah, you know, the girl is like, they're talking while they're taking a shower. Right? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> basically. But yeah, they can keep, you know, cyber internet talking, right? You know, yeah, while you're. Now it is not safe for work. <laughs> this episode is. This episode is not safe for work, man. Now it is. It's so family friendly, man. Yeah, it's just key. Now it's like if you see Bloops again, you see Bloops bust. Yeah, it's just. This is like a f three minute scene of just the two girls talking. <laughs> While. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Because she finally. Oh, he wants to hire Kiwi now? Oh my god, so he's gonna pay Kiwi to. <gasps> Sang, give it back! It's a mom kill a mom! Rebecca is crazy, man. I love Rebecca, man. She's cray cray. Yeah, she's just cray cray, man. She's like a character from some video game series, it's straight up, man. She runs around with her crazy guns and shoots people. Yeah, like, yeah, bigger gun! <laughs> but Rebecca, man, she's crazy! This scene, her... Come on, shoot faster! <laughs> yeah, like, she's just, she's just crazy! She's so into shooting stuff, yeah, she's, she is, she is so violent, man. She runs around there like, bam, 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 yeah, it's like, bigger guns! Of course, you have a girl. <laughs> I only see guns when I see you, I only see, I only see big guns, man. She's trying to help him at least. I mean, she's obviously in love with him, so she's not too rad by Lucy, right? But at least she's trying her best, right? Boy, don't go that route, man. <laughs> I want you back, girl. You don't. I got my guns, man. Look at my guns. Yeah, you don't. You don't need. You don't need to like. You know, I I got your back, boy. Yeah, come on. You don't need more weapons. I'm a living weapon. <laughs> it's like I'm the most crazy gunslinging girl ever, man. I love Rebecca, man. He's super hilarious, man. His head turned into like guns. Yeah, is he nightmaring it? Oh, his head turned into guns. What? In this anime, you don't know, but maybe he has like a weird uh, gun build up. Then he comes to the, the mom, right? Oh, he's just going crazy. But no head also turned into guns. Well, I guess he's a killer, though. Maybe? Yeah, she's dead. 
And Kiwi is like, why don't you answer? So he's going crazy now. I mean, we wait for a moment to, to, him, to him to get cyber and psycho, right? But it's kind of quickly after this episode. So you're going cray cray on me. Hmm. Doesn't mean you understand. It's pretty, pretty clear what's happening, but the. Uh... <gasps> Can I push this away, his waifu? Man, here we go. Yeah, don't touch me like that. I wanna see, I wanna hear uh, Yuki crazy at him. I wanna hear your anger, man. Come on. Yuki anger. Yeah, stop, stop having so much implants, man. You're clearly going cray cray. I don't know if, but I don't know if he needs more implants to do this stuff, though. Like, he only needs that super speed implant, mostly. Some of the other implants don't seem to really help him that much. But even if he's like, one of the people can use Sandy, right? Um, He's adding so much new stuff too that of course he's gonna like go crazy from that anyway because yeah he's adding like oh I need two mecha arms, mecha legs, mecha torso, I need to have like a gun or something in my hand or I need to have like you know. I wonder how people are alive in this world yeah. <laughs> he's like I don't know if you are killed by now yeah. You would wonder in Cyberpunk in the, in the video game too how it can even be humans alive anymore because the, the I'll say the expectation life rate or like the the chance of surviving in this game world or anime world that seems very very low. <laughs> so I don't know how people have time to have children in this world because these could I guess they're laboratories or something. I guess everyone is going up a laboratory really, right? Uh, I know it is some backstory how it's played. And then, oh, of course mostly people used are like rabbits in this world right? some extent, right? So I guess so, but a lot of them are, yeah. <laughs> but see like the life the chance of not dying in this anime is like almost <laughs> zero, man. Hmm, she still has troubles with her revenge something. She's clearly doing something on the side, like I talked about, she's hacking them on the side, right? Yeah, she's doing her own mission. Definitely. That's also why it takes some time, right? Because she's like working her own stuff. But it is like, she, they're living together and so on, they obviously love, but she doesn't trust him. No, she doesn't, right? Yeah, she still hasn't actually told him the truth. Uh, now she's getting all emotional. She go! No, I do love you! Yeah, oh, what's happening? She's in hacked, maybe? Why did she suddenly... Hmm, I guess, yeah, she's like, someone is attacking me, yeah. Something is happening in the net, the internet, you know, yeah, I need to go get my internet, I guess. Yeah. See? She doesn't trust him, she, she couldn't... still doesn't explain to him what she's doing, right, or why she's doing this internet war. Like I said last episode, right, she's gonna be somewhat of an antagonist to him. She's like, no, not like that. And now here, she's out hacking again. It's more a trap now, though. Yeah, I feel this is like a trap, right? Exactly. You got owned, baby. Call it, man, yeah. It was kind of obvious, but yeah. Of course, it's a trap. Ooh, Kiwi! Oh my god, traitor! Oh my god, bastard! I called the Kiwi's gonna betray her though, I said it though, yeah. Kiwi was like, Kiwi talked to him, I was like, oh, is Kiwi gonna betray them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I kinda, I kinda had it, the feeling for it though, but... Yeah, I wanna betray him, man. Not only did she betray him, but I mean, wasn't that her best friend? They had like a 10 minute long conversation in the bathroom, right? Yeah, this is like her bestie, this is the BFFs, man. What a betrayal, man. Betrayal. Like, yeah, he's a crazy man. Top 10 anime betrayal, man. Kiwi was like her best friend. This whole episode was like her and Kiwi talking, right? It is, it really is a long fan service scene, right? And we saw them in the bathroom and so on. Yeah, they had this like girl talk, right? For like 10 minutes in the episode. <laughs> and she's the traitor. But sure, it was kind of expected, right? When he earlier contacted Kiwi, right? And we saw Kiwi like, oh, actually, I need to do something on my own. So it, it was definitely kind of, it was foreshadowed heavily. That Kiri was gonna be a traitor, and I guess she just really wants the money, maybe. But uh, <laughs> yeah, she was like, man, it's kind of when Kiri is, you know, you kind of feel like now she's getting called by him, and yeah, come on, she's sitting after betrayal here, right? And also probably what she talked to him, talked to her the whole day, right? It's kind of obviously get some info on her, right? So she could betray her easier. It felt like a lot, like oh, she's setting up that betrayal, man. Still though, Bloops being a traitor it feels it hurts, man, it hurts. But yeah, I kind of expected it. 
Uh, especially that it was a trap. I mean, generally speaking, e even if it wasn't gonna be Kiwi betraying her, it, it certainly felt like a massive trap. Right? Her problem though, classic enough. She's like, she go, she go, David Kun. I do love you. It's not like that. Yeah, this felt so. So I mean, have to say, it's so anime, right? How she could tell him the truth, and he would, you know, he's, he's in love with her. She probably could trust him. I, I don't. I don't actually. I don't see why she can't trust him. For she trusts him in everything else, right? But using this notion, she's like, no, I can't trust you because whatever, right? I'm gonna guess though that the reason she can't trust him is because she doesn't want to tell him the truth, right? Not, not because she doesn't trust him, but more so, she's probably if he's in danger he, if he knows the real truth, right? He, she told her like half her flashback, right? You know, and she probably feels like if you know the full flashback, you would be in danger. And I love you, so I can't tell the truth. It's probably more like that, right? That she's just like, no, I don't want to put you in danger or something. But it still felt that kind of classic, like annoying romance scene where the main male male character, the main main guy, is like, "Why don't you love me for? Why don't you trust me for? I do trust you. It's not like that. She go, she go with David. <laughs> it was a lot like that. She's like, "No, I do love you. Why don't you listen to me? Yeah." Okay, but I think that's the reason, right? She doesn't want to tell him to it because she feels he would be in danger, right? So she wants to keep it to herself, right? Try to protect him, right, by not telling him uh, all the facts, right? But. He's always gonna bite her in the ass now, at least from a personal standpoint, because yeah, now Kiwi betrayed her, and David is gonna have no idea what's going on, right? Um, but I think I was sort of right, I said she was gonna be a modern antagonist, right? And cause some issues, and then turn into a damsel in distress, right? Yeah, so I feel he is definitely kinda of going where I expected to go in the last two episodes, right? That he, he's gonna have to save Lucia now, right? After Kiwi betrayed him. I wonder if Kiwi's gonna play it off cool, though, yeah? Kiwi's he works as his like, main uh, runner, right? So. So that was that though. Hmm. But definitely, I mean, I think he's a classic, right? You know, she wants to protect him and now she's in danger and she will get no help because, yeah, no one knows what she's doing, right? Because she is killed. This is obviously Sangif and she did get him, right? So, yeah, she got revenge for mom, right? Definitely. The scene before was with Rebecca, right? And she is like launching. I freaking love Rebecca, man. It's awesome. So, yeah. So, if you see, uh, you know, Rebecca, she's like, blam, right? She's like, bigger gun. Then I ever see Sangif, he's like, bigger gun. And then Sangif goes, padoom, right? He goes, Bloop. So, yeah, I get she. This feels like in this scene, he goes to her mom. So, I think that, that to me, honestly, I think wasn't the bad. I, I'm gonna be set up. I love Rebecca scene. She's awesome. She's probably a funnier character than Lucy. She's just like a blaster, fun, 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 explosive girl. Yeah, she's hilarious. Rebecca's are awesome. Becca, yeah. Rebecca, Becca. Rebecca's name, yeah. Something's something called Rebecca, but her full name is Rebecca. Whatever. Uh, so Rebecca's are awesome. But yeah, I think this is an issue, though. I love her scene, right? But she clearly killed the. She. Again. Didn't she just get revenge for the guys that killed mom, right? Because that's the guy that was shooting, or the guys that won. So in this short fight here, Rebecca, mostly her, right? They was dead and he got this panic thing, right? So Rebecca mostly just got revenge, right? She got revenge, you know what I mean? She got revenge. And took care of that gang, right? That caused mom's uh, accident, right? But they shot her car and then she flipped in the accident, right? That she died, right? So these are all the people that killed uh, his mother, right? And David had like no reaction to that. He didn't even seem to realize they were them. He had it like, oh no, I killed this uh, innocent mother, this uh, scientist mom earlier. So he had this like guilt thing going on, right? But he seemed to completely ignore that, again, Rebecca basically got revenge for him, right? That to me was kind of weird. I think it would be better if he realized. That that was the guy that killed mom, and then he would have more mental issues. Oh no, that's okay, kill my mom or something. But that doesn't really seem how it's played off. So that was kind of strange because his mental issue could have been combined with him realizing he finally got revenge right for his mom, but also being like in, in duress or whatever. He's like, oh no, but mom is like, oh. So that was kind of strange. Yeah, he, he basically didn't even talk about it at all. He didn't even like interact about it. So it felt kind of weird how they clearly brought these guys back right to fight Rebecca. Uh, you know, like, you know, this is the first bad guys in, in, in the show, and then it was like, oh, whatever, he didn't even think about it. Uh, but anyway, right. please subscribe, slap us on right, and see you in the last episode tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to binge everything in the middle, right? Like to set it some bits, right? And then I have a conference just when Made in Abyss is out, so that's the video that's probably out a little, short, a little later, probably. Unless I can do it just before the conference. It's like the conference starts just after it's out. So subscribe back, please like episode one, and I'll see you guys in the Abyss and final episode of Cyberpunk tomorrow. I'll see you guys and have a great day.